Hey you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel, Peterisms, where I tell stories of my life and just little things that I've learned as I've grown into the person that I am today. And today I wanna to talk about a very simple idea. Uh, it's not very deep. It was just something I was thinking about as I was driving around earlier today. But I think it's something that I forget on a regular basis, and that I think is really about keeping it really, really simple, you know? Um, last night, I stayed up way too late finishing Orange is the New Black, the last season, the most recent season. And before that, I finished listening to the audiobook uh, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone because I reread it listening to it on Audible. And I had this fantastic night last night, you know, like, my husband and I went out to dinner, and then we hung out a little bit at home, and then I went and I filmed my vlog. I had, you know, went and got a fountain pop with my best friend Tanya, or I got a water, she got a fountain pop. And then I listened to Harry Potter, and I finished it, because I had like an hour left, and then I came home, and I watched uh, the last two episodes of Orange is the New Black. I went to bed. I got a great night's sleep. I got up today, you know, like, I went and got coffee. Here's my coffee from Starbucks. And, um... Went and ran some errands, talked to some friends on the phone. You know, it, it's four o'clock, my husband's coming home right now. And it's just been a very simple day. And in fact, at the end of Orange is the New Black, they play this song at the very end of the, the last episode of the last season. And I downloaded it on iTunes, because I was like, I really love this song. I thought it was like an old fashioned song, but it's actually new. And I drove around and I just kind of listened to that song today. And you know, I just had this, awesome day it's i'm like looking up right now at the winds you know, the the leaves blowing in the wind it's a very fallish day in indiana today it's about 70 73 degrees and it's rainy it's muddy it's we were we were think, thinking about going to the state fair but it's way too muddy for that and you know it's just a perfect day to just enjoy simplicity to enjoy each little thing in my life and to be so grateful for each moment you know of my dogs running around in the yard it was so funny because they it started raining when they were outside and i was trying to get them inside and then it started raining and all of a sudden they come running inside you know especially tucker because he hates the rain and you know alex and i trying to figure out what we want to do for dinner tonight or do we want to just watch a movie you know or just hang out and you know it's just like life i think in its simplest moments is the most fantastic i really do and you know i think it's about enjoying those moments I have to be honest with you, like, you know, we're getting ready to go to Vegas next week, and I am extremely excited. It is our 10-year anniversary, seven years married together, and um, we got married in Las Vegas. One of our, very, well, our very first trip we ever took was to Las Vegas, and so Las Vegas has, like, a huge meaning to us, and we're doing a very nice trip because we haven't, you know, gone to Las Vegas together in, since we got married that year, and um, I'm really excited about it. We're going to go see some shows and do some stuff. And, you know, we get to travel often and we have great lives and, you know, we don't want for anything and all of that is awesome. But really, it's like the simplest moments. It's not the huge accolades sometimes in life. It's the simple moments. When people ask me about the process of writing my book, I don't think about the moment that I, you know, got it published or the time that I got my first check from having sold books or going to a book fair because that was so much fun when I first, you know, started doing it was I went to book fairs. I didn't I don't think about any of that. I think about the nights that I sat right here in this living room and I wrote while PP -pee slept on the end of the the ottoman right here, you know? Or I would take him out every hour and I would talk to him about what was going on, my dog PP. -pee. And you know, that's what I think about. You know, when I think about going to Las Vegas with my husband, I think about like just walking around the streets and discovering new places because that's something that we like to do. You know, finding a new place to drink coffee or a new dinner place that's open at four o'clock in the morning. You know, just fun stuff like that. It's really not about the deep, deep moments. And in fact, last night I was telling this story on my vlog about we went to this wedding a couple years ago for our friends and we ended up staying in this like horrible, horrible hotel because we can be hotel snobs. And we ended up staying in this horrible, we can't become, we can't be hotel snobs. We are hotel snobs. I'll own that all day long. Um, I love a nice hotel room. And uh, so anyway, we went to this wedding and like the two hotels that were listed were just, they weren't very nice. But everybody else decided to kind of actually Google it and look because we were in Minneapolis, which has many hotels, right? So the day of the wedding we went, we had a great time at the wedding and you know, all this kind of stuff. And my husband had had a couple glasses of champagne and we're sitting there and, and the, it was kind of dying out. You know, it was like eight or nine o'clock at night and he goes, I can't remember, but anyway, it was later in the day and he goes, 
Um, so do you want to, are you ready to go? And I go, go back to that hotel room? No, I have absolutely no desire to go back to that. We can stay here at the wedding as long as you want. And he goes, well, what if we went back tonight? Because he knows that I like to drive like in the middle of the night. Obviously, I have a vlog. And I said, you mean go check out of the, we'll lose this night in the hotel. He goes, well, what if we could get her? I said, I don't really care about that. It was like $90, but it is money. Like, you know, what if, and he goes, well, what if we could get our money back? And I go, well, if we could get our money back, I would leave this second. He goes, okay, let's go. So we said goodbye to our friends and we went back to the hotel and Alex got her money back. The woman was extremely nice and she was like, yeah, no problem whatsoever. And he was really honest. He was like, this was just not the hotel that we thought it was going to be and we were really excited about coming. And she was like, yeah, no, totally no problem. So we checked out and we like drove home. And you know what I remember from that trip, other than the wedding and going there and all that kind of stuff and picking out outfits to wear, what I remember most is the road trip home. The, you know, the three, four hours, I think it was four hours that it took us to drive from Minneapolis in the middle of the night. I think we left there at like, you know, uh, 11 or 12 o'clock at night. And we got home at like four or five o'clock in the morning. Because Alex is like, well, the next, if we get home tomorrow, we can go to brunch. We can have the whole day Sunday together, you know? And so we drove through, and we drove through Chicago, downtown Chicago, in the middle of a Saturday night, you know? And it was fun, and I listened to my audiobook, and Alex fell asleep, and I stopped at a, you know, truck stop late at night, you know, on the side of the road, and went and got a fountain pop and some snacks, and, you know, listened to my audiobook as I drove home. And it was fantastic, you know, having my husband next to me sleeping, and... It, it's those moments. It's the small moments in life, I think, that make life so fantastic and I don't want to forget that I want to remember that and so today I'm trying to enjoy those small moments and I hope you do too I love you and I will see you tomorrow bye